This amendment goes on Gibby record now, so. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, the, the club hasn't had great success in games where you've scored three runs or less. I mean, tonight, to get a win in a game where you don't have a ton of offense, is that, you know, what does that say about the team? Well, I mean, we're playing good baseball, and, um, you know, you got the back end, the bullpen, uh, is <clears throat> pitching the ball very well, and, you know, you got the lead, and um, Strada pitched very well. Sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> and Estrada pitched very well and well played game. I mean, that was a good baseball game. What, is it, what does it mean to get the kind of pop that you guys have at the top of the order with uh, Tulowitzki and Donaldson with a pair of solo shots? <clears throat> well, those, those guys at the top, they can change the game with one swing of the bat. So, you know, it's it's – it's a threat from the start, you know. Um, and he hit the home run to get us going, and too low follow. He got a two-run lead. It's it's a pretty good beginning. Estrada's been on a nice little roll now for really a, a couple of months. Has he turned into a, a better pitcher, and has he had a better season so far than you might have thought going into this year? No, I mean he's he knows how to pitch. You know, and he's got that change up that uh, um, can add and subtract with, uh, with his fastball. Um, he mixed in his curveball a little bit more tonight. Uh, so it, it's just a pitcher that knows how to pitch. And when you got a mix of those pitches, you know, you can get those kind of performances. Tomorrow, you've been watching him all year, but the number of uh, go-ahead home runs that Donaldson has hit have you seen a guy on a streak uh, with so many clutch hits, big hits for a team? I mean, he's playing well. And, you know, he's a big part of the success of this team, you know, as others are on this team because you, you need 25. Um, but, you know, he, he shows up every day. You know, he prepares. Um, this team prepares to win a game and, and – you know, he's had a very good year. You know, you're talking about MV, um, MVP caliber year. So, you know, with a few months to go, and, and I think he can only add to that, you know. But if, you know, I'm not speaking for him, but I think if you ask him, he's, you know, looking to help win ball games, you know. And if that's a home run, a big hit, a defensive play, I think he's doing it. Marlo, it looks like uh, Roberto Osuna maybe didn't have his best stuff tonight, but certainly got through that inning. I mean, what can it do for a young pitcher to, you know, face something like that and get through? What can it do for his confidence? Well, I, I think all of them at, at, at certain times of the year may not feel their best. But, you know, when you compete and you compete and, you know, at this level and, and you're trying to get to, you know, uh, uh, a place where – you know, this this organization having been the playoffs, you know, you, you're going to go out there that may not have your best stuff. But, you know, what I'm enjoying, I'm seeing these guys compete, you know, night in and night out. And, and you know, we ain't going to feel our best every night. But you know what? There's a reputation and, and, and there's a perception that this team is going to play hard every night and, and, and be in ball games. And the good teams got that. You know, when teams come in or when we go on the road, you know, they know they're about to play a good ball club and they're going to compete every night. So I, I, uh, I think everybody at some point is going to get through that um, uh, period where they're not feeling their best but going to go out there. DeMarlo, I know, I know Sanchez's walks had started to come down <clears throat> through May and June, but – he is all over the strike zone as a reliever, and he was pretty proficient at that last year as well. Yeah. Is it something to do with the role or the mentality of that role that he's more consistent in the zone? <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm sure it plays a factor. And, and <clears throat> you know, you're talking about coming out of the bullpen. You know, you, you may eliminate one of your pitches, you know, as a starter. You know, as a starter, you um, trying to get through the lineup three times. So, you know, you might <clears throat> use a little bit more combination of your pitches, but 
I think coming out of the bullpen, you know, and, and your mindset, you know, you're getting three outs, you know, sometimes you don't have to use all your pitches, you know, but you got them when you need them. But if you're fishing and, and getting the job done with a couple of pitches and you're pounding the strike zone, you know, I, I don't know why you would try to get too creative and change, you know, but, you know, as a starter, you know, there's that, that time around the order that you got to go again, you know, sometimes it's tough that third time, you know, so uh, he, he's performed very well out of the bullpen and he started to perform very well as a starter too, you know, um, unfortunately he had a setback, but, you know, he's come back in this role and, and, and been very good.